Hello, my name is Dark Wolfheart, and today we'll be going to, we are going to be looking at five bad games uh, that have come out within a, sort of the last year or so. So the first one we're going to be looking at is Battlefield 2042, and uh, this is pretty much well known to everybody. So uh, we're going to have a look at some of the bugs that went on in the game. Uh, everybody knows the hovercraft, which could fly. One of the more classic clips. This game was supposed to be a take their take on a Call of Duty sort of style. Uh, and they got rid of medics and all of that. And it was just absolute trash. Animations were all janky. Nothing ever worked. Everything got bugged out. Shooting even was buggy. Uh, let's have a look. Bless you! Ah, the invisible wall between the power lines. Uh, somehow you just can't shoot. The electricity from them is so strong. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they were making this game. Why did they release it? Look how much the shots go off each side. Oh yeah, you want to kill somebody? No, I'm, I'm afraid you can't. Here we are, some more of the gunshots. Here we go. Look at all these textures popping in everywhere. Bullet sponging. So, yeah. <coughs> and of course some people could fly under the maps uh, so you can see the whole of the battlefield so yeah it worked out really well uh, for EA don't know how can you release a game like this and just go yeah it's all finished it's alright yeah perfectly fine don't worry about it Everybody's going to enjoy it. It's going to be the best game. It's going to beat Call of Duty. <coughs> so yeah, that's Battlefield for you. And if we have a look at the Battlefield 2042 Steam DB. So far, just less than 4,000 people are playing in the game at the moment. But let's take a look at Battlefield 1. 10,000 people are in the game. So, a game which is a good few years older, 2020, is doing much better than a new game that was just released. Go figure, eh? On to the next one. Uh, not many people might have heard about this one, but this is eFootball 2020, and this is done by a Konami, who are very famous of now screwing up their franchises. Contra, Metal Gear Solid. They're trying to do a Silent Hill reboot at the moment next year. Uh, I hope that's going to go all right. Uh, but yeah, everything they touch nowadays is destroyed, and this is the game they wanted to release. This was supposed to be a free game, and then there was supposed to be add-on packs later on, like DLC, uh, that you had to buy to play more of the game and stuff. But this is what they thought 
they could release. Just, it's no FIFA, I'll tell you that. Look, look at the lip, lip syncing. That is some fantastic singing there, boys. And then two of the team as well. <sighs> oh, here's the rest of the team. Uh, the H1 says there's only three on the team. These are the guys who did PES, and PES was an actual pretty alright football simulator. There goes a uh, linesman, or is that the ref? Is, is he dead? Is he, is he alright there? What's that? Oh, is that a goal kick? Yeah. Uh. One of the best goalkeepers I have ever seen playing a game. That was an easy goal for Christian Ronaldo. Okay, here we go for a corner. Okay, come on guys, cover up, cover up. Oh, oh, oh dear. Dear, he was nowhere near that ball then. Foul, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, to be honest, I haven't heard about this game for about. It must be like eight months since I last heard anything about the game. Whether they've given up on it or not, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, oh, oh. And that was E Football by Konami. Um, yeah, they're just messing everything up, they are. Uh, Konami are. The next game we'll be looking at is Babylon 4. Now, this game came out last year and it was done by Platinum Games. Who make, do make some good games, but then again, they, some games they do make are a bit terrible. And it was published by Square Enix. And is it the beginning of next year? The servers are shutting down, I think. I think the servers are shutting down uh, next January for this game. Or it could be next month, in December. And there's a good reason, and I'll show you why in a minute for that. But this is some of the gameplay of it. And you'll kind of understand that this level is a pretty much what every single level looks out like throughout the whole of the game is ultra bland. We don't want to keep the people of Babylon waiting for a closer look at their new heroes. Heroes? The combat was a little bit slow. I did play the alpha or the beta even, sorry. Um Yeah, these are what the levels are looking like all the way throughout. All the enemies are the same, I believe. Uh, let's have a look at the boss. One of the bosses. Mm. And some interesting mechanics, but... And the cutscenes weren't that great. They were just like... Pictures, you thought they put a bit more effort into it. Uh, I don't know if there are any cut... Ah. Is this one of the cutscenes? No. Is this the cutscene? No. I think they did update. I think they did change the cutscenes uh, from what they were originally in the game because nobody liked them.
yeah, so the idea you had to get to the top of the tower by playing all these levels. And they all look the same. It was just black gameplay, really. So, that's Babylon's Fall. It was just a Blair game. They tried to make this uh, another live game again, live gaming service. But it doesn't always work, and I don't know why people keep doing it. Square Enix did it with the Avengers, and the Avengers wasn't that great either. So I don't know why people keep doing this all the time. Uh, so if we have a look at the Steam DB on this one, there is one person playing it right now. So uh, how many were playing? So I only had 1,000, uh, nearly 200, who uh, played at the beginning of the games nine months ago. I had 24 hour peak of free, and one person's playing right now. I feel sorry for this one person. He's, he's the only one running around uh, with no friends, most probably. So, oh well. Uh, the next game we're going to look at, another infamous one, is, of course, the Grand Theft Auto Remastered Trilogy. And um, it's stupid because Rockstar has a lot of money. And there are so many good modders out there who have already done remasters of these games. Why didn't they just get them to come onto this project, work for them, and actually make three decent games? The code was already there for them to implement. But no, they decided to go with smart AI technology uh, that would do most of it for them. So you get some funny weird characters, weird billboards, stuff like that. And the rain in this was horrendous. But we'll take a look. I love this. <laughs> hmm? Looks so stoned. Of course, uh, there's the arms that worked. Look at them. Yeah. Perfect gameplay, Rockstar. Makes you wonder if GTA 6 is going to look like this. Uh, this is people walking through cutscenes, I believe. Oh. That's the chubby. Look at <laughs> the shoulders. They're so droopy. They're like, oh, let's sit like down here somewhere. Take it, hold it. Oh. Mm. oh dear. <laughs> uh, it's having a bit of a bad day. Uh, uh, Whoa, salad fingers or what? Uh, I'm wondering if they got the flattening cart. I think I'll catch up with you. <laughs> uh, do they have the flattening cars in this? Because if you went left, right, left, right, left, right, your car will get wider and wider and wider. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, are they going to show off some rain effects? Oh, it's just yeah. Left and right, left and right, and the car would get wider and wider. And they released this game. They thought it was good enough to release. I don't know if it's got any better with any updates or anything. I haven't heard anything at all, and I'm not going to buy it at all. Oh, uh, the rain, as you can see, <laughs> when it comes over a body of water, the body of water takes precedence, so all the rain falls behind. But the rain does look like milk at the same time. Oh, yeah. Uh. And of course, yeah, falling through the roof as well. Uh, I was really hoping this game would be good, but <laughs> as you can see, it was absolutely terrible. Oh, milky rain again. It's just. I. Oh yeah, the invisible bridge, nothing loading in. It was just terrible. That was Grand Theft Auto, uh, the trilogy remastered. Uh, absolute trash, I don't recommend anybody buying it. And the last one we're looking at is the new Saints Row. So, Fire Lucian, 
I think that's the name of the company who makes it. Um, they have now been shut down. <laughs> they tried to make a saint throw with like, um, what should you call it? The people who go to baristas and they sit on their computer. I don't know. Um, not nerds, <laughs> nothing like that. Uh, God, I can't think of the word. Anyway, there was a lockable characters in this. Um, the world looked dead. It looked like nobody was running around in it at all. Uh, there was not like GTA 5 where you see people walking around and all that. It just looked absolutely dead. But uh, we'll take a look at some bugs on it, this game. So who doesn't like looking at bugs? <laughs> wow. Uh, is that a save from dying? <laughs> Pretty amazing. Well, he's not going anywhere, is he? Oh dear. No road already? Is that the edge of the world? Um, no, I don't think so. The map doesn't look like it's the edge of the world, but... <coughs> so where did the rest of the world go? The texture's not loading in. You'll go over there, but... No sound on this one at all. Oh, struggling to open <laughs> the fridge! And the fridge door's broken as well! But you got the waffle! Yes, she, the new She-Hulk, Disney's new She-Hulk, that is. Um, this is how she actually looks in the TV show. Actually, oh, I thought I lost sound then for a second. So then it was all quiet for some reason. Oh, oh what's this? Well, that's zoomed in a lot. Oh. Yeah, it's... We both did you What's going on? Just wasn't a great game. If I could show you a cutscene. Uh cut scene. Uh no, all cutscenes. Try to skip to where the This is one of the main characters. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music. I think that's you, it's supposed to be your character. Right? That... Speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. Uh, you are, I'm afraid. You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded. Yeah, okay, I don't need to go. Good call. Showtime. So this one with all the characters in. <coughs> Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat's These, these, no these people were just unlikable. But. Uh, is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. The animations just don't look good. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Hmm. Don't we kind of need... Anyway, that was Saints Row. So, those are five games I've chosen, which, over the past year, are just terrible. Uh, More than three, if we want to call... No, 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 we don't want to watch you anymore. Uh, we've had enough, thank you very much. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Dark Wolf Heart. And uh, please subscribe if you like the video and whatnot. Like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you again.